You know, if you're ashamed of being ignorant, you're showing up at a party because, you know, you claim to knowledge that you don't have and someone exposes you. Well, you can be angry at them and you probably will, but they've actually done you a favor. They pointed out an inadequacy is a pathway that you can travel down, Ooh. right? A recognized inadequacy is as soon it's such a gift in some sense, if, if it's accurate. I mean, because you think, well, what should I do? What should I do with my life? That's a real complicated question. Right. Oh, here's an inadequacy. Excellent. You have a pl you have a, a goal now. Rectify it. Now, you still have to think strategically and figure out how to rectify it and do it step by step. And But Carl Rogers, the psychotherapist, um, pointed out that the per person, for, for therapy to be successful, the person has to want to change. So they have to have recognized that they have a problem. If, the, if someone is mandated by the court to attend therapy, it's very difficult for the therapist to convince them that they have a problem. Once you're convinced you have a problem, it's like, away you go. You know, I know it's still technically difficult. It requires discipline and all of that. There's no magic solution. But if you're plagued by feelings of inferiority, you should rectify the most obvious inferiorities. Right. Focus on those first over optimizing strengths, would you say? No, not necessarily. Not, not necessarily. I'm... And you don't have to redress every, like, I can't, I'm a terrible jazz musician. <laughs> you know, it's and not a, it's, not an, it's not a thing where you hold shame around or like. Well, it's not an impediment. Yeah, yeah. I would say that you have to rectify an inadequacy when it's clearly an impediment to your goal. Or you have to shift goals. But if you're shifting goals because of an inadequacy related impediment, then you have to ask yourself, are you, is your desire to shift the goal reliable? Or are you just taking the easy way out? Right. You can protect yourself by, by picking a different goal that's more difficult. That, that's a good mental hygiene practice because sometimes you should switch goals rather than rectifying inadequacies. But you can fool yourself then and, and that's, a, that's not good.